Hey guys, welcome to Madster. It's Amory. Saurika, I'm Jeremy Zucker. Hey, Zucker. Madster, it's Luke It's Brian Garrix here, and you're listening to Med 107. Representative for Med 107, which is a radio station in Thailand, and yeah. there are 10 questions for you today. So yes. let's begin with the first one. The first question is for you to introduce yourself to your Thai fans. So my name is Dean Lewis. It's my first time in Thailand mm-hmm. ever. I write sad songs and I try to make sure they mean something. Mm. And um, yeah, it's a pleasure. I'm from Australia. Yeah. So I guess uh, most Thai fans know you already. So let's get over to the next question. The second one. Uh, they said that you're good at uh, writing sad songs, right? Yes. Yeah. And can you talk about the inspiration behind the songs when you write it? Yeah. So I just write about things that are happening in my life. Like I wrote a song, How Do I Say Goodbye, about my dad when he was sick. Mm. I wrote a song, Be a Right, about a relationship I was in. And as things happen to me, I just write about them. I don't mm. think about it too much. Well, I care about it, but I just write about things that are happening. And usually mm. songs that are sad are so much better. Like happy songs, are just, it's boring to write. Mm. So uh, is it to say that uh, your songs come from your direct experience yeah. or any memories? Yeah. I think a lot, most of my songs, probably 99% are coming from things that have happened to me. Sometimes you, you, you exagger- mm-hmm. don't exaggerate, you expand <laughs> upon things. Sometimes some slight exaggerations. Mm. But yeah, it's always things that happen to me in my life. Mm. Wow. So next question. Uh, what do you think is difficult about songwriting? And can you tell us about uh, your songwriting style? Is there any problem when writing a song? Yeah. Uh, what is difficult about it? Did you mm. say what is difficult? Yeah. Um, it's very difficult to write something great. There's a lot of songs can come very easy, but it's songs that like the meaning and the lyrics mm-hmm. and the melody all match mm-hmm. is very difficult to do. Mm-hmm. Maybe like once every few years, it's like you keep writing songs, you get mm-hmm. one of them. Um, but it's always difficult, but it's always easy. It's like it flows out very easily, but the special ones are sort of harder to get. Mm-hmm. So I would say it's difficult and easy at the same time. Mm-hmm. And what part of the songwriting do you like the most? Oh, I love it when... I, I, I think when... The, my favorite part is when you finish something that's amazing. And mm-hmm. like, because there's so many songs that are not... You, you finish writing them and it's like, ah. Mm-hmm. But when you get one that you go, you get the pins and needles mm-hmm. on yourself or you cry or I cry when yeah. I was doing that, it's like this best moment. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's a, like, uh, you feel proud of yourself. Yeah, you feel really it. proud. Yeah. So next question, uh, your latest album, uh, the focus track, uh, How Do I Say Goodbye? Yes. Uh, the track is really loved by your fans. And can you talk about the song a little bit? Yeah, so How Do I Say Goodbye is a song I wrote about my dad because he got mm-hmm. sick. I didn't know if I was going to lose him. So mm-hmm. I wrote the song. Wow. And then, because I didn't know how to say goodbye. And then he got a stem cell transplant. He had cancer and it cured him. Or he's mm-hmm. in remission. So I just wrote it about my dad and yeah, it changed my life and gave me wow. another chance. Very cool. Ooh, very interesting. And I think the song is very cool. Oh, thank you. Also, next question. Uh, what is the meaning of the music video of How Do I Say Goodbye? And how was the filming? Was it fun? Or- yeah, my brother filmed, he directed it. Mm-hmm. And it was his first music video he's ever done. He went through all the home footage from my family. Mm. My dad had filmed us growing up. So he edited together all these things. Um, and we filmed it in Nashville mm. for very cheap and it was a one day and um, he did a great job. I'm very proud of it. Mm. Yeah. Very good. So next question. Uh, uh, how is your song different from any other artist? Yeah, I think that's a good question. I think, I think I have a certain style of songwriting mm. where I try to be really specific about mm. the where I am. I, I almost describe the scene as things mm-hmm. are happening. And I have a very specific style of sometimes with like spoken word, mm-hmm. not really, it's not rapping, but it's mm-hmm. not singing, it's in between. Ah. And I'm trying to like, it's very difficult as a, a singer songwriter to have a sound. So mm-hmm. I'm very focused on like the sound that I have and trying to zoom in on that and go further into it. Mm-hmm. But I would say very specific and um, yeah, yeah. Oh. So that's what makes you distinct from other artists. Yeah, I think what makes you distinct is when you go further into your thing. Mm. You have to you have to find your own thing and really go into it. Mm. I think when you try to do something too new and try to be like, it's like you sound like everyone else. Mm. So I think the further you go into your thing, the more unique it is. Mm, I agree with that. So let's go to another question. 
Yeah. Uh, can you talk about your concert in Thailand, which is your very first time, right? Yeah. And how do you feel about meeting your Thai fans? I haven't met my Thai fans yet, mm. so I'm about to meet them. Um, I'm very excited. I, I don't know how they're going to react. If they're going to be crazy or if they're going to be very calm. Mm. Um, I know there's people out there, which is exciting, but uh, I love Thailand. Everyone's smiling at me here and it's very nice. <laughs> and I don't know why. It's very cool. I love it. Okay. Everybody smiles because maybe they are very happy to see you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next question. Uh, how do you feel about uh, the rehearsal of the concert? The rehearsal? Yeah. Yeah, we uh, did a little sound check. It's sounding great. Mm. I'm very excited. I can't wait. Yeah. I'm also excited. Uh, next question. Uh, have you done any activities in Thailand yet? Um, we got here yesterday, like sort of late. So. Mm -hmm. No, I just go on and get got a coffee, and um, we don't really have a lot of time to do <laughs> things. In, in never in any country, but I will come back and definitely hang out. Wow, it's amazing, and I hope you will come back soon. <laughs> okay, last question. Uh, do you have anything to say to your Thai fans? Yeah, I'll just say I love you, and um, I can't wait for the show. And thank you for supporting me. Mm -hmm. I love you. I'll oh. be back. Oh, amazing! And we look forward to see you for performing today. Thank you. Very excited. Thank, thank you, Mix. You. That's awesome. Yeah. Right. Great. Saudi Khan Metster. I'm Jeremy Zimmer. Hey, Metster. It's Lucas Graham. Hey, I'm Gary Sear, and you're listening to Met 107.